What's going on Axie gang? Elijah here back with another video and guys we did it. We caught the mystic Axie bug and we fired away and purchased one and I am super hyped about it. I did this I think it was two days ago and we're sitting on number 484 of the Origin Axie class. We've got the pink turnip mystic and we can see that body part right here. So as always, my videos are just on passion and speculation. You know, I'm not an expert in anything crypto related, but I go follow my instincts. And you know, I've luckily been successful in the last three years in buying and holding major cryptocurrencies. And I felt like if I did that and survived the bear market and now everything's rising, that it was a, it felt like a good time to treat myself to something that I really wanted. And there was nothing more I wanted, uh, both in the digital world and really in the material external world than a mystic Axie. So I, I did that and bought one and I'm just, ah, oh, it feels nice. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. So it's actually got some decent playability here. Um, we got the zero cost trigger with turnip rocket to go ahead and snipe some birds, a couple high damage cards. I mean, look, most mystics they're not the cream of the crop in terms of like, you know, meta and playability, but definitely be looking to have some fun with this in the off season. I feel like we caught a lucky break here. I was looking on the market for days. I'm going to go ahead and pull up some of my favorites that I was uh, eyeing. A few check marks for me if I was going to invest this type of money in, a, in an Axie. I really wanted some playability for sure. I wanted it to be a zero breed and have a relatively low ID. Those were just sort of like must haves for me to be shelling out uh, whatever it costs to get one of these, which right now the floor is A to Ethereum. So let's go ahead and put the breed count to zero. We can see the floor for zero breeds is 8.8 .8 Ethereum. And a couple that I just really had to talk myself out of just immediately pulling the trigger on was number 271 here. I mean, she is a beauty. She's got the gold shell. We've got really playable cards here in Ronin with the zero card trigger, egg bomb, just high damage and can go kind of kamikaze and draw your opponent away once you've gotten max value out of using this Axie. So really wanted to scoop it, but at the price of 13 ETH, I just thought, let me just see if I can get a bit of a better value deal on the market. I kid you not, I uh, I went to bed one night and I was just thinking, God, I want I want an Axie. There had been a couple that had come and gone on the market and I just missed by, by a hair. And I was just thinking, the next one that I see that I really like, I'm just gonna get. I woke up at like four in the morning and I was dreaming about Mystic Axes. I checked the marketplace to see, I was dreaming that there was one perfect one that just got listed at like 4.30 in the morning. I look, nothing there, it's the same list of Axes. But around nine o'clock in the morning when I actually woke up, I check again and here she was sitting very, very beautifully at a 7.5 Ethereum price point. It literally was listed as the floor axi, which just, I couldn't, honestly couldn't believe it. Um, I know RC had made great profits on it anyway. He'd been holding it a while, so maybe he just wanted to just, you know, sell it as soon as possible. But luckily I woke up, saw it, and it hit all my requirements. Zero out of seven on the breed count super low id it's a top 500 axi i mean i just it was perfect it was destined so anyway my my reasonings for it axi infinity is such a special project and i think that everyone who's in the community feels that way i mean the passion that you see within the community is incredible and inspiring honestly so i i just when i realized what they were that, that they kind of represented a commitment to the game a, a high position within it that you hold one of these rare assets not to mention the fact that the team has alluded multiple times on podcasts and in little blips here and there that they are going to be looking after people holding mystics they're gonna they're gonna honor that respect it there'll be benefits in the future and utility that will come in the future we don't know exactly what that will look like but certainly they're going to be different from regular axes in terms of gameplay and potential rewards we dropped a tweet here yeah it was two days ago that we we did this and we got a bunch of love from from the community which is really fun to see so look you know if you aren't super passionate about a particular nft my best advice is to just completely steer clear because you're not really basing your decision on anything that is rooted in reality or anything sustainable you're just kind of going off of hype and speculation that you don't really have probably the most faith in and so your chances of holding and making profits in your investment probably aren't very high. I don't know much about other NFTs that are out there. I don't really care. I haven't found anything that intriguing to me for me to go down the rabbit hole. I know they're out there, but for me, I just haven't found them. And so let's just get into the nitty gritty. I pulled
pulled this up in my other video about why I was bullish on AXS, uh, the token, and there's just a couple quick bullet points. There's never going to be more than 4,000 origin axes. I mean, that's ridiculous. It's a super low supply. That's, I think, still less than the uh, supply of CryptoPunks. And these are just origins, which includes both mystics and non-mystic origins. If you're looking at specifically mystic axes, there should never be more than 1,500 mystics to ever exist in the game, okay? Right now, there's 1,100 single mystics, and as you can see, once you get into double and triple and quad, they're extremely rare. The, the price points on those are just through the roof, and there's only 1,300 in existence right now, so we should be getting a release of a couple hundred more in the future. You know, origin axes, what are they? They're the first of their kind, right? So low IDs means the earlier in the game that they were released. But you can see correlations across the board with collectibles such as Pokemon. And I think that Axie Infinity has the type of potential as far as game, community, future, team, to just have some ridiculous numbers on Origins and Mystics as far as price points in the future. And already we've seen Mystic Axies appreciate uh, over tenfold in the past few years. The cheapest Mystic Axie was 0.63 Ethereum back in September of 2018. Now we can see that the cheapest mystic is 8 Ethereum. And I just think this is going to continue, especially with uh, scaling solutions on the way and land play to come. The game is just rising at a ridiculous rate in terms of popularity. The team's always posting charts showing that the number of addresses, the interest in the game, the, the people who are being retained and staying and continuing to play once they start, it just continues to go up. We had the $1.5 million land sale recently from Flying Falcon. That's the record on the most expensive purchase in terms of NFTs. You know, these are the top five Mystic Axies that have gone. And Delphi Digital is amongst one of the um, organizations that has purchased some really, really prime Mystic Axies here. So these are like three Mystic Axies. I think they shelled out a quarter of a million dollars when they did it. Okay, no, it was 162,000, but the point remains, and this was in 2020, so if you were to think what these axes are selling for then compared to now, I mean, I would imagine that triple mystics in 2021 are going for an absurd amount. Let's just take a look at the floor real quick. So if we go over to three mystic parts, <laughs> I mean, the bottom, the cheapest triple mystic you can get costs almost a half a million dollars. <laughs> so it is just absolutely nuts out there once you start raising the the count on mystic parts. So yeah, Delphi Digital, they're sitting pretty on the five really prime mystics that they've got. Taking all that into account, I know that it's it's steep. You gotta weigh the options on if it's worth it to, to pull the trigger and hold. For me, I sleep like a baby because I have a lot of faith in the project. And also, you know, don't invest more than you're willing to lose. Essentially, a project like Axie Infinity isn't completely decentralized. There is still a team. There's still a lot of improvements that need to be made. So, you know, there's a lot that's still out of your control compared to something like Bitcoin that's just been around forever. That being said, I mean, you guys should know by now it's my favorite project in cryptocurrency. So take that for what it's worth. And one more thing I would say is like, if a mystic isn't, isn't up your alley, then consider an origin axie. Now we don't know what kind of utility lies ahead for these guys, but to have the tag there on the top, just kind of solidifying that these are one of the first, these are these are rare and exceptional in their own right. There's never gonna be more than 4,000 of them. I have to imagine that in the future as the game unfolds, Origins will have their place in terms of added utility. Yeah, I think Origins are super undervalued. Uh, there's a Twitter account that I really like to follow and it's Axie SalesBot. This just tracks the sale of any Axie that was sold for more than 0.5 Ethereum. So some of the more precious ones, it tracks Origin sales. And it's valuable just to see that every single day Origin axes are being sold. Again, that just says a lot about where the demand is. And the key here is that we haven't crossed that threshold into mass adoption. And when that happens, I expect a pretty serious surge in terms of demand for these assets. Yeah, I mean, I think that's gonna be about it for this video. I kind of wanted to just do a brief uh, overview of Mystics and just share with you guys what I uh, was able to pick up and express some gratitude for getting such a good deal on it. I'll definitely be holding this guy for the long term. If anything, I might resell my Mystic to try to level up and get one that I find to be a more attractive deal. But for me, the point is that I will always be holding a Mystic. And this is one I am definitely happy to have in my inventory. Finally, it's pretty cool to look at the uh, part scarcity if you're in the market for, for picking one up. Now again, this is all speculation. We don't know exactly how this is going to play out in terms of value, but I would imagine that 
the ones that there's fewer of in terms of uh, count for mystic parts will have higher value in the future. We can see here that I landed like pretty much smack dab in the middle with pink turnip, which is cool. And yeah, so if you're shopping, you know, maybe whatever you see as far as the, the mystic part that you're looking at, just give this little graph a peek and maybe it can help you determine which route to go. I'll go ahead and leave the link to this article in the description as well. It's, it's a nice, well-rounded article on mystic axes if you want to read further into it. All right, I'm going to wrap this video up. Let me know what you guys would like to see in the next one. At some point, I'm going to make a video where we get some some gameplay with this guy and try and set up a team perhaps in a in a week or so when the off season hits i'll try to put together a little fun team and play with this one if you love axie content make sure to subscribe to the channel turn on the post notifications bell so you never miss a video it is the sole project that i focus on on this channel it's everything axie related you guys are awesome i appreciate the support and i'll see you in the next one peace